Hello, everybody. Welcome to Aeon's End, a co-op deck building. No, I was going to say roguelite. I can't... It's just a reflex. <laughs> it's just a reflex at this point. It's not. I mean, is it not a roguelite? You know what? It's ambiguous. There we go. We're with Rapsy. Hello, Rapsy. It's been a moment. It's like how two comes off the one. It's like how Animal Mental D comes off the you know the rest of the alphabet before exactly. it, right? It just is the thing that follows. Rogue like deck, but huh? It's a board yeah. game. Hey, it has been a beat. Good to be here. This is yeah. gonna be fun. Elemental P. But uh, we, we've got a random selection of like I don't know abilities, supplies that we can buy from our shop. There's like a bunch of stuff you can customize, but I think. We decided we're just going to do this standard character because he was in the tutorial and we want our safety blanket. But after that, I think mm -hmm. we're going to take turns uh, drafting, I guess, probably only two characters, right? I don't think we need to control two each, right? I imagine just yeah, one, I think one, we'll be the... one for each. It'll it'll be the easiest for us to understand with one each. Uh, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to let you pick your, your character first. But I'm going to need, hey. as payment... You to tell me their vibe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, so it, it, that, there exists a problem because there there are two characters that I had my eye on. Okay. Uh, but I think I, I will uh, I, I will link it to just one so that I can give you the vibe. Okay. Um, the most recent sentence that this person has said is, "We'll see what my father has to say about that." <laughs> Are they wait? Are they on screen right now? They are. Oh my goodness! Oh gosh! It's obviously uh, Adel <laughs> Adelheim. <laughs> yeah, he, he is his own daddy. I think it, it, it's Axos. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I I I I was pretty confident that was gonna be it, even without the vibe check. Uh, yes. <laughs> it my, was it, was either gonna be Axos or Miss for me. It, it had to be. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll click that one. Uh, How my, about yourself? Because I will, I will select it for you. Okay, okay. Mine's gonna be. Uh, oh God. Uh, Walt, Walt, you Do can't it. keep getting away with it. Uh, I am going Walt. to inject myself with <laughs> a mysterious liquid and turn into an apparition, uh, but only in my hands. I'm Mike Ehrman Trout. <laughs> That's. That's my vibe. <laughs> don't go near my granddaughter. <laughs> oh. don't, don't talk to her. Never be in the same suburb. Don't uh. exist on the same plane of existence. Yeah. Don't use the same ghost hands as her. <laughs> you look at her, I'll shoot you with plasma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> There's, uh, there was an episode of Comedy Bang Bang, the improv comedy podcast, uh, recently, where two characters both just came on to both play Mike Ehrmantraut, and they spent the entire time not <laughs> describing the character, just describing, like, if you go anywhere near her, I'll do this. It was just increasingly <laughs> insane. Love it. But, Game's good. Let's yeah. go. Uh, but alas, I I feel like, so since you've, you've played a lot of actual physical board games like this, how would you Easy. wrap this up brief, like in a brief explanation oh. of what's going on? So I think the easiest thing to do for a lot of people immediately is what are our win, what are our loss conditions? So our win condition is if we manage to overwhelm the health of the enemy here. So that is the 60 HP that we see up at the top. That is the health of the Rageborn. Uh, we are attempting to defend our own health statistics. So that's 12 on myself, 12 on Rito as well for the individual mages, and 35 for the town, Gravehold, that we're attempting to defend. In order to deal damage to the enemies, we're trying to cast spells at them. The spells cost resources, which we will need to generate through playing cards and building our deck up. Mm -hmm. uh, there are different phases in our turn as we cast, generate a hand, develop our hands, discard phase, and then it goes to the other player. Uh, turn orders are also randomized in this game instead of just being banded, so it's entirely possible for the boss to go two times in a row or us to go two times in a row. Everything else is kind of individually conditional, I think. Uh, woefully elegant. Incredibly clean. 
I am going to turn down my volume of the game just ever so briefly as it has gotten <laughs> scary and I want to go home. <laughs> it was so loud when I opened it for the first time. I, it, you know, games have gotten better at that, but this is not a recent game, so so it doesn't have to be better at it. Okay, so it's my it turn work. first. It's also worth noting that we're playing on Steam Remote Play, so uh, Raps has co-opted use of my computer for, for his turns. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're literally both controlling my computer right now. Uh, so, yeah, we, we got our moves down here. So basically we need to play these dang crystals to get dang mana to, or dang currency to do dang things. Uh, so this is, I think, each of our, each character has a unique gem or something, it seems like. Because this is... Yes. Yeah, this is the unique one for me. Gain one... What is it called? Uh, Aether? Is Aether. That? Aether. Uh, Aether. I think we we looked we looked up what the the game maker thought and then I just immediately forgot. I think they went yeah. with Aether. Uh, gain I one believe. Aether. Any ally may draw a card and then discard a card in their hand. I mean that seems nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Just in addition, why not? Wait. Okay. So and it has to be an ally. I, do do yes, you want to? I believe you are selecting. Yeah. There you go. Click or drag cards to, okay, to Zaxos discard on the right. Oh, so now it, mm. it wants you to, so you can take over, you can discard what you want into your little tiny pile over there. Yes. It, so I'm zero. very quickly going to look at the, the unique card in this hand before I probably discard it. Reveal the top order, uh, card of the turn order deck and then place it back on top of the turn order deck. If you reveal the player card, deal three damage, otherwise deal one. So it is decent damage, this spell. However... The ability to suddenly pick up a five cost spell on my first turn because you gave me extra crystals seems really powerful. So I'm going to discard the flare. That does seem quite good. You're welcome. Thank you. I, I'm, a, I'm a good guy. You, you remind me of my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, with these these spells, we can drag them up here in these focus, the, in what are they called? No, these breaches. Only if they're open yeah. there. That one is already open. Otherwise, we'd have to use mana to open the other ones. I guess at the same time, since mana goes away, or I guess I have th I have three. So I have three mm. Aether. I can buy something that costs three from the shop up here. And whatever we buy here goes into our deck, well, permanently, more or less. I imagine there's some things that'll imply otherwise. But So I could add this. Mm -hmm which is gain two Aether or destroy this to gain three, which seems just, just nice. Whenever you gain this, you may place it on top of your deck. Gain, wait, really? Oh, so mm -hmm. that's just that's just get two Aether uh, for every turn if you want it. I imagine maybe that'll become yeah, bad really later. Much. It seems good though. As Especially seems like it would be important in early cycles where it generates a larger amount of gold over time, or ether rather, over time, uh, as it's going into the shuffle. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll leave the Thin Deck Daddy <laughs> bottle for you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, and then I'll just, I'll buy that, I'll drop drop no! it down in there. Wait, what? I think, you, I think you could have dragged that to the top of your deck. Oh, to the top of my deck? Ah, that's fine. You can undo that turn! I can undo it! Oh, wait, hold no on. No new information was provided, baby! There we go! Wait, drag it down, or, oh, you can put it, okay, but I can't put it in my head, I can only put it on top of my deck or in, or in the discard. Gotcha. I guess I would like that, yeah. There we go. Thank God for a uh, rewind. But then, okay, so I can't cast the spell until my next turn. I think end turn. Mm-hmm. And then we can... A unique thing about this, yeah, was mentioned. The way you discard cards is also going to be the order in which you draw them. It, where our deck never gets shuffled. Uh, unless maybe something says so. But, yeah. So I think we'll just... I'll just put the good card on top. And then I assume... Yep, goes to you. My mouse is yours, my liege. Much appreciated. So immediately I'm going to have a look at Imbued Smash. The five cost right here. Deal four damage, you may discard a card in your hand. If you do, also deal two damage to the nemesis. What? That's Yeah, that That's, seems good. You just need to do that ten times. That's the most card I think we've seen. Yeah. yeah. Like, There's also another five up here in the Burning Opal. Uh, game three, you may discard a card in your hand. If you do, an ally draws a card. No, no. Leave that to me. Oh. I, I will be your support. I, what? Okay, so... Yes, but also, 
Uh, a deck that is very, very good at dealing a large amount of damage will also want more spell slots. And these spell slots, these breaches, are unlocked with the focus that is gotten from resources. So I That's think true. one of the first things that I need to do is build up my resources. I think that five gem up there is spicy. Yeah, so wait, what, what is that one exactly? And you want that in your discard, not your draw? Uh, I can't put it in my draw. The only one that can go in the draw is the eight book. The oh, that, oh, that specific one was just allowed to. Oh, oh, yes. oh, that, that was just a unique effect of it. I didn't, I missed the unique effect. Gotcha. Yes, yeah. All right, so it looks uh, like it's, the it's Burning Opal is again. three ether and discard a card in hand. And if you do, an ally draws a card. All right. Now, finally, I get to use my flare. <laughs> that is exactly what this character would say. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> finally, Daddy. Have you seen my flare? <laughs> Mumsy. Finally, Daddy, I get to use my flare. Oh, he's, he's become much more pretentious than I want. <laughs> like, he had to be in a level of pretension. That had yeah, to yeah, be, yeah. Of course. Um, Mumsy, why don't you watch my flare? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, sorry. Mumsy, it's like a ball game, but a flare. <laughs> Go, go ahead, you can talk uh, about so mechanics. We can, we can drop a spell into a breach that hasn't been entirely opened if we focus it on that turn. I don't know if I care about one damage enough to spend three on a focus rather than just buy Probably one not. of these cool cards. Probably not. I think I care about that more, and then we'll go for the damaging effect. Okay, so what is it? He is... Okay, if there are two Nemesis turn order cards in the turn order... Oh, I missed it. We just got, just got chopped? The player with the lowest life suffers two damage. That's both of us. Oh. Get down, Mr. President. Send me. <laughs> You're the one with the big punch. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I, I thought I was off on the side of the screen at the time. I was like, I've completed my turn, so this must be me. No, no, you were choosing Oops. who takes that two damage, and you chose me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I did say get, I, I said get down, Mr. President. That was, that was intention. I wanted you to, to slap me. Right now, you have more value in your deck. It's more important. Since it keeps on going as long as one of us is alive, I think it'll be important mm -hmm. to recognize who currently has the stronger deck and be... Uh, uh, accepting of death if if it's uh, between one or the other. So wait, okay. I they... wonder if we can bring someone back. Oh, I, I wonder. So that this also got played. Uh, mm. Persistent. So this is another target that we need to do five damage to. Otherwise, every at the start of every one of their turns, this is going to do X damage, X is fury. So one. It's going to do one damage at the start of every one of the Rageborn's turns. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Unless we do five damage to it. Okay, I don't really have a whole lot of anything. When you gain this, you may place it. Oh, okay. That was literally just once. Okay. I understand. It's less exciting than I had thought. Mm. It, it can be pretty it, powerful it, in terms of the cycle. Yeah, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. Click or drag a... Yep. Sure. Sure. Don't have a whole lot of... All right, so I got five. What are we, what are we going for? I'm going to yoink. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you can also use two, uh, two Aether to put one charge on your ability. When it gets five charges, it activates. We both have a unique ability. Mine is what? When a Nemesis attack or power card is drawn, but before it is resolved, you may discard it. Oh. So basically just like screw your, your ability, big man. Uh, and yeah. It seems not bad. Oh, my mouse is going all over the place. Uh... Destroy this. Destroy up to two cards. Nope, that's not. That's off limits. Uh, deal two damage and you may destroy a card in hand. Seems kind of nice. Seems like, which mm -hmm. which would you prefer between uh, uh, thin deck daddy bottle or thin deck daddy blast? Because <laughs> you already have a spell. It's worth noting you only have a limited amount of spell slots. I don't have an extra spell. Yeah. Should I go for this one right now and then you go for this ability? To... So it's a limited amount of spell slots, but also the spell will activate at the beginning of your next turn, which means at the start of your next turn, you're destroying a card in hand rather yep. than doing it as kind of like uh, 
you, you don't get to manipulate the card that you might want to destroy as much as you otherwise might. Um, also, you do have five, so in case that's what I was like, should I were... focus and plop it in? Can I? I can't plop it in right now, can I? Like if I focus no. and I, I imagine, but uh, I do. I do think I want it. I, oh my god! Oh, oh. All right. So then, what? What would be the point of focusing right now? Is just moves it closer towards uh, it being cheaper for it to open. Is that all that that would help with right now, or is that? Yes, I also think it's. I think if you focus it like one time after this, it will just open. It might just be a two cost focus and then a one cost focus next. Yeah. Thing. I don't I, know. I'm feeling like it might be more beneficial to focus than to put one out of five in this ability right now. Do you think I that think so? Seems valid. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright. It's almost open and the open cost decrease as well. Alright, shuffle. Oh, it's me. Ooh, <laughs> it's me your again. Next hand. Oh, look at that. Uh, okay, me. Okay, now I may. I mean, sure. Oh, I do have to do my spell first. I forgot. Okay. Do you want to discard and draw? Or yes, I'd love to discard the uh, the spell that I have in my hand at the moment. All right. Okay. Take over the mouse. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Me go. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Womp, 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 womp. Okay. So yeah, now it's two to open it. So I could do that. Uh, oh wait, could I? Is this just this? Wait, didn't that? Wait, hold on. Didn't I just buy this? You did. Oh, wait, it, oh, you, did you these still had? Uh... Do these never change? Like, do they just keep refreshing with the same thing? Or yeah, did, yeah, was yeah. that just lucky? So okay. it's it's like a it's like a Dominion supply. Like, there's many copies of each of those cards there. Okay, okay. I haven't played Dominion yet. It's on my it's on my <sighs> big it's on my really big like to do list. That's at the very very top. Okay. So your your previous turn looks so good with the idea of opening another breach and then yeah. getting another spell that destroys cards. I I think so too. Like it just seems like I can manipulate my deck exactly how I want. And it says you may destroy mm -hmm. a card, so I can't. I don't like have to. I'm I'm down with it. All right. Uh. Whoop. Mouse. Thank you. There we go. I would assume you get to go now. Okay. My mouse mm -hmm. is yours, my liege. Oh, Dragon's Book the Breach. So this is the reveal, and then place it back on top. If you reveal a player, deal three, otherwise deal one. Um, I think I'm going to start trying to get some damage on the Provoker before the Fury starts to increase and it starts dealing real damage to us. That feels valid. Oh, oh. well, there you go. Saxos goes next, so three damage to the minion. <laughs> Hell yeah. Next. Uh, Burning Opal, you may discard a card in your hand. If you do, add ally draws a card so if i don't do that i'll have seven this turn which is enough to get the pattern strike deal four damage you may return two cards sorry you may return to your hand up to two cards in your discard pile that costs zero ether oh i mean that's pretty good <laughs> it seems seems good to me i'm, yeah, I'm down that, with it that could be money yeah that's because you get back to it's kind of yeah it's like a spell that kind of will slowly just pay for itself in addition to being powerful. I'm with it. Mm -hmm. So a seven cost temporary a temporal helix. Oh wow. Cast any player's prep spell without discarding it. Ooh! That would let me cast your spectral echoes. <laughs> I can I'll destroy all my cards. <laughs> oh, I mean there's also a limited amount. There's only uh, five in supply. Oh, I see. Of uh, spectral echoes, it looks like total. Gotcha, gotcha. I think it's best for me to go for the. I, the I think so right too. Now. And the thing is, like, I could get that. I could get that relic as well. To help with yours. Did, wait, did you? Oh, if you just tapped it, it should have gone automatically to your, your supply. Yeah. Yes, you can just click yeah, it. You do. don't have to drag it. Because cool. nor normally um, you can't uh, decide. Then you can. And then it's another turn again. for me. Another turn for me. Me again, Mumsy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Dude, Wait. I can build another seven. I could get another pattern strike if I really wanted to. I mean, yay. I, I feel like that seems really, really nice. Let's do it. Just do it. Just do it. I right. don't want to argue. I don't want to debate. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. 
behave mouse. So we can just I can just prep these for later. I feel like there's no reason not to. Absolutely. Okay, so what do I got? I got four. Eh, what is this anyways? I haven't even looked. Deal two damage, ally gains a charge. What is your ability even? Allies collectively gain four charges. Reveal the turn order deck and then return. Oh, okay. You just kind of get you get to see how the RNG shakes out for the turn order. That's what yours is. Not just that, but it does that at the cost of one charge because I give yeah. you four charges and I spend five myself. It's true. It's true. It's so, a setup move. So hold on. Wait, which one? that was this one? Deal two hmm. damage and ally gains one charge. So you would get one charge. I mean, like once we get you going. And I'm assuming by collectively gains four charges, you get to choose where all four of those get allocated, I would assume. Right? I, I would assume, but also uh, I have exactly one ally. That is... Oh, oh, wait. Oh, it's true. When I read allies, I was like, between you and I. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But it's like, it's still... It's still kind of slow. It but still I get, seems a little weak, I'll say. It doesn't seem... it. It's not a wow. I mean, you got two of these sons of guns. I just feel like I'm just... I got a little... little flare lighting a little match and putting it under him but i mean in, in terms of replacing like spark eventually because i'll be able to destroy whatever the heck i want i guess maybe it's fine i could do that very true otherwise also I it might just be the best expenditure of your income this time that's kind of what i'm thinking i'm like i do that or what like i just start focusing it feels like a waste i don't that, know that is the other thing right it would be focusing uh to attempt to get another one of your breaches open it's true this one's already a couple more spells this one's already slightly opened, and once open, plus one damage on cast. Like I could, I could just put all four into this, and then it's what half? It's halfway already. I think so. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. I think that's a decent idea as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a go. Oh, babe. I'm done. To discard, mm. destroy a card in hand that costs two or more. Oh, it went away. Unleash twice, and any player gains char two charges. Or Gravehold okay. suffers four damage. Unleash is what is it? Unleash again? Is that the thing that makes them gain that fury? Yes. So okay. they'll gain two fury, which gain means their fury. minion will start dealing three damage a pop. Um, but the minion is also pretty close to dying. It's true. And they may they might not get an another turn before they die. It's very possible. Sure. Uh, however, oh, this Fury they probably... have two turns in a row right now. Oh, wait. That's oh, this is their first... This is the second turn, though, right? I think so. <laughs> okay. So, what, what are you... What, what are you I like Unleash. I, I, I think we, we just deal I with think we can. I, I think we can handle it. It's a little sketchy because, like, how does Fury go down? And, like, is this just going to bite us in the butt big time later? But I'm... You know what? That's a future us problem. Exactly. Um... It almost... Well... What do you think? This was... Whenever... Yeah, whenever a power card is drawn, but before it's resolved, you may discard it. has no effect. Uh... I don't know. It almost feels kind of... Not bad to jumpstart yours to get you up to five quicker so that we can just like because when you get it i basically get it too so yeah i i like it i, I didn't I, want to argue for it because it would seem a bit greedy but I like no it. no no if, if something seems mechanically more logical just vouch for it i think that seems mechanically more logical myself it's your turn mm -hmm. oh interesting interesting okay so i've got my patent strike I can return up to two cards to my hand from my discard pile that costs zero. That Ooh. could easily just be two gems. Or even uh, also, be, oh yeah, that's right. Record, this Agni field, we have the two discard as an ability. So if we destroy a card in hand that costs two ether or more, it will just discard this ability before activating it. If we don't do that in two turns, so the next time the enemy acts, it will unleash and then any player discards draw th uh, three cards and draws one. Oh. Hmm. Eh. By by costs Ooh. two, is it implying the uh, the price we paid to get it, or is it the yes. amount that it, I so would assume the, it has to be right? right? Yeah. Okay. 
I mean... Okay, well, let's start out with Pattern Strike. Yeah, prep it. Oh, right, of course, that won't even be active this turn. Yeah, it'll be Forgot next turn. Um, I'll use the gem, and I think I will discard the spark, because I just won't be able to do it. Yeah. I have a card. <clears throat> And then I guess it comes down to whether or not I focus in order to cast the extra spell. And if I do that, do I do it on the final slot? Because this I wouldn't be able to just focus two times, right? I, I don't know. I'd be able to get a charge. Yeah. I think I get a charge, I focus, and then because we've focused in that breach, I can use that to cast a spell this turn. I'll yeah. discard my most powerful card first. Yeah. Oh, he angy. Oh, we're gonna have to take the damage. Oh wait, so what's this? Oh, his uh, did his his thing procked? Uh, yes, I think so. I want this. Yeah, <clears throat> go for it. Yeah, this is actually really good for me because currently I don't have a discard pile, so I won't be able to draw any cards with my pattern strike. <laughs> so this yeah. is actually good for me. Great. I think you just... Uh, so we'll get rid of just three crystals it, here. Think. Oh, click. Cool. Yeah. It even draws me a card. Rageborn strikes. Oh, wow. <laughs> that chop. Gravehold suffers five? I mean, that's not great. Don't love that. Not at all. Seems high. Seems high. Okay. All right. Well, I'll start with that. Then what? You may destroy a card in hand. Oh, uh, is it worth the? Oh God, I have the two slots. I'd, I'd probably destroy your default spark at this point. I know. I just it's a bummer because I do have the extra slots, you, but I feel I like it. I feel like it's logical. It makes me sad, but I do it. All right. Get another. Do you want to? Do you want to draw a card, and discard? Yeah, that'd be neat. Go ahead. Your mouse. <laughs> Honestly, anything that puts me towards the next cycle of pattern strikes works perfectly for me. Yeah. Uh, did I get an ignite? I can't remember. Did I? Did I do that, or did I opt for the focus only? I don't think you picked up ignite so far. Yeah. I mean, because I have... How many spells? I got I got the... I do still have Unignite. You may also still need Currency. It's true, it's true. I guess that's... Maybe I shouldn't quite say no yet. Uh, gain two or destroy this game three. You know what? Maybe, maybe I just do this, drop it on top, but I feel bad about the one wasted mana. Aether. That's just... It feels, it feels, mm. it makes me sad, but I don't, I can't do anything about it. I'm like, I have four. I must use four, but I, 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 a, I get similar feelings consistently. I was very lucky to hit a five early enough. Yeah. To the only other five. thing is like, no, I, I don't have any clean other use for two. Like doing this twice is stupid because you're going to give me four. So it's like, I, yeah, you know what? I think I just do this and smile. All right. Oh. You can. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Do you think it's Do you think it's viable to destroy crystal at this point? Absolutely. I I feel sad that I can't play it this turn, but it feels okay. Ooh, play all gems. Look at that. Six. Deal four damage. If a card you may is discard. worse. What's that? If a card is worse than your average card, then happily yeah. destroy it. Throw it into the abyss. Yeah. Deal four damage, you may discard a card in your hand. If you do, deal two damage to the nemesis. I mean, it does seem kind of nice. We do need some raw damage. Ooh, ooh, scoot, scoot. I feel like I don't, I definitely don't need like uh, yet another Spectral Echo. I feel like I'm bordering on too much already considering my deck is what, uh, 12 cards big. I feel like that's, two is probably fine, right? That's, uh, that's working reasonably, I think. I feel like anything more is a little overkill. I'm kind of leaning towards Ignite, spend two on this so that when you proc your ability, I, I get mine fully. That's kind of where I'm at. I like it. That's kind of where I'm at. Um, the only other thing that I would consider is getting a, a higher cost gem just to kind of densify. True. Uh, Ramp up that. later. 
I'm about to shuffle. Oh, but this... That's right. It goes on the bottom, so it's still going to be a long time before I get it. Okay. You know what? I'll do it. I, I, there, this is not going anywhere. That's the thing that my brain has to uh, remember. Like, that stuff's not going anywhere. It's literally there forever. <laughs> and that's hard, mm -hmm. to, that's hard to process. All right. Your mouse. I love this so much. All right. Um... I'm gonna, oh, first, I know the flare is gonna get the Rageborn's turn, unfortunately, so I know the flare is only gonna deal one damage, which means I can't kill the Provoker unless I use the four damage. Yeah. Which hurts. Well, I mean, but we're only gonna, gonna take die. one damage. It's The Fury's only at one right now. So, I mean, mm. if if you're not feeling it, I mean, we can. It does feel like it needs four damage, is the thing. I love that my hand is unaffected from all of the discarding that I had to do. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then cast. Oh wow! Yeah, it's the Rageborn. Rage oh, who would gone? Who to guessed rather? Uh. I mean, I have a fire plink. I don't have it set up though, but I have one in my hand. I don't know. It's kind of. Yeah, it's it's it kind of weird. Just make sure that does. But... Yeah. I'm fine with it. I'm good. I'm very good with it. Look at the little play all gems card. It's so nice, convenient. Mm -hmm. I think I have to. Wait, hang on. How dense is gem in my deck? So I've just got one big gem card in the burning <laughs> opal. That's basically all I have. Yeah. Because I've burned my exogranite. Oh. Uh... Oh, you can also, you have enough to open the slot, too, permanently. Yeah, Not that it's I think I might open my second. It seems nice. I mean, there's no immediate use for it, but hey, that there never was going to be. It, oh. it would feel awful if on one turn I couldn't use my second pattern strike. Yes, exactly. Oh, there's a second. Oh, it's your turn. Oh, it's back to me. Back All right. to you. Um... Something I might want to consider then is getting to power this turn, because, like, we can show the entire turn order and map out the entire turn order, and you can have your ability if I spend four on my metaphysical link. It is pretty nice. It would also, yeah, it would definitely help us, like, because there's a world where we could just use the one damage link and get away with it if we go for that. That's fine. I'm with it. What does this okay. new min minion do? It's X. Is it X plus one? E Wait. X and then it suffers one. Oh. It's just a worse. Oh. Oh, the X is different for each of them. So this oh. is the number of rage uh, fury tokens. This is just the health of the haste viewer. So the haste viewer will deal one damage and then die next turn. Oh, sick. <laughs> Great. Accidentally perfectly clean lethal. I'll take, I'll take a damage. If, if, I guess it's going to Graveholm, but still. Would you like a new uh, a card next turn as well? Uh, sure. I just have to discard the spark, which I don't think is too much of a problem for me. Unless, well, I mean, would it would it be worth it? Because you we don't know. Uh, gosh, because if you're if you're next in the order, you could plink the um that guy before we take I control one the order. Yeah, but I don't know. The range one doesn't have to go until we kill the minion. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because so my ability is reveal the turn order. Yeah. And then re return them in any order. Oh, choose the turn order. Oh, you choose the turn. Okay, I admit. Okay, 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 okay. That okay. That's way more busted than I thought it was. All right. Yeah, I, I thought it was sick. just info, and it was like it was pretty good. Do it. So I'm going to activate Metaphysical Link here. So next turn would be you, and then you again, and then I think I might actually want to act after Rageborn. Oh, I think you're doing top I to bottom. I think I accidentally put myself next. I think Cards so. Reserve. Okay. Let me undo that step. Yeah. Perfect. Wait. You can undo okay. that? Oh, wait. Is this the revealed order? <laughs> can you cheat? 
Is this maybe the action? Could have, uh, maybe they would have allowed me to cheat on that one. Oh, well. Uh, so do you want to go next? How do, how do we want to resolve this, right? Because we want to put the uh, Rageborn after probably your two actions. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine. The guy. I, don't, I feel like if this turn, it really does just make sense to make sure he goes later. And I go mm -hmm. right now-ish. Works for me. Cool. And then I'm also going to charge back into the metaphysical link. So that's all six of them spent. Great. On you. Who's next? All right. So is this, how does this one go again? What is it on? In, do I just like press it and then it so, just procs? Activate during the no, nemesis. So, oh. Yes. It's as it's a reactionary thing. Like I get to do it mm -hmm. on. Okay. As a reaction. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh man. Like I got, I've got turn, a turn here now. Mm-hmm. Oh, mouse, hello. Uh, Play nice. I would also love to discard a card if uh, if that's possible. I'm very happy to oh, do it. Your mouse. So I know specifically that the card after my turn is the Nemesis again. So Flare is basically a spark for me. So I can discard it. Perfect. All right, what are we at? Five. Oh, boy. B -b -b Click or drink. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? I don't really know anymore. I mean, I guess I could get that burning opal still, but at some point I have to cash out my stuff. I'm going to break something next turn. I guess this is the top card. Okay, so I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get these. Probably ditch one of these. Uh, I don't know. At what point am I just satisfied with getting the, uh, the double? The double. And we convert to lethal. Mm. That's my question. Is how late do we have to convert to lethal? So I think it's a little late that we would have to convert. My reasoning being that the the enemy, you know, we had 35, I think, on our uh, Greyborn. They've done 12 damage to us. We've done 11 damage to them. Um, so on this current trajectory, we lose. So we need to be more powerful. And if we need to be more powerful while being able to uh, enhance our decks to that degree, we're still going to need a little bit more money. Thankfully, most of the money sources in this game also give you something else you can do. Like the Burning Opal gives you the ability to cycle another card in another player's yeah. hand. So it's useful at the end as well as the start. There's yeah. also other ones like the, the first gem, which blows itself up if you want in order to give you extra value, which is a great yeah. transitional tool yeah. if you know the time to pop it. All right, so we got the one damage that's going over here. We're just going to allow this mm -hmm. guy to, to bop himself, right? That just doesn't matter. Yeah, we're fine doing that, or we could kill it. Really, it comes down to whether or not you think this is a good idea. It's like, I mean, it's a, yeah, it's like one one damage overkill, or, or it's like two damage on him, and we take one. I don't know. Is one damage going to make the difference in the game? I have no idea. Probably, because I've said this. But <laughs> it's, it's always difficult to tell, right? Because this is both of our first time playing. Uh, so we don't know the correct evaluations for each of these kinds of different things. Like maybe the Greyborn health is the only thing that matters. Maybe it doesn't matter at all. Eh, that comes with experience. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO, and I'm trying to make it a shorter. Yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh, and yet another decision to make. I mean, you know what, maybe... I do kind of like, yeah, the idea of going for these... Uh, or, no, this is, where's the one that discards itself? That's this one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that destroys itself even. But then it's like, yeah, I have two mana that I can't do anything with, because I've got full here, and I can't proc mine early to set up, like, a trap for him. Not that it would probably be a good idea anyways. So it's almost like... I'd, I'd say, like, if you had one more Burning Opal, I would probably be like, that's, that's enough money. Yeah. Almost certainly, with the fact that you have the ability to destroy your worst ones as well. Yeah, I feel like that's probably the call there. Bye, guy. Oh, Needle Maw. Persistent. Oh, 11 health. Gravehold suffers 2 damage. Flat 2 damage. Your turn. Mm. That's a harsh one. So is that... It? Oh, gosh. It's going to be every turn. Every turn? Yeah. Yep. So that's going to happen next turn. No way of preventing that. Uh, unfortunately, as well, I believe... I'm going to end up in a bad situation because next turn my pattern strike is going to go off at the start of the turn, but I will have just generated no discard pile, so I won't have anything to pick up from it. Oh. Uh, well. I mean, it could be worse. 
think it's time for me to bottle vortex. Unleash twice, grave hold, suffers three damage, or place the most recently. Uh, what? Let me read it first. Game. Place the most recently discarded minion card in the Nemesis discard pile back into play. Uh, Fury goes up to three, and we suffer three damage, or we bring back... Who was the last one to die? The last one to die was the one or, who, her, who harmed himself, yeah? That is true. And Or, you discard it. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering, like, do we care? Because how much health did it have? Did it have five? It had five health initially. Uh, yeah. So if I get to act early enough, I can patent strike it, and then it's not really too much of an issue. If it acts immediately, we take five full damage. That's true, but don't we... Do we not know that... Oh, we don't know. This is this is the no. final turn. This is the final turn. Yeah, I think we discard it then. I think so, too. I I was under the impression. I mean, I'm a gambling man. I would I, I could chance it. If it was Sometimes just me on the jam. line, then uh, maybe I would... Oops, I probably should have gone for that, but hey, wait, can we? Should What do you think? Should we go yeah. for this, probably? Absolutely. It seems too... Oh, it seems like too much. And then... Bye-bye. Uh, ooh, wait. What happens if That's you... That's so good for me. Yeah, you get to discard your zero cost. Yep. There you go. It's, it's in fact, required for me. It's... It is really good, not only that you have that as a base effect, but also that you have the Burning Opals. I didn't think about that until after I recommended them, but there you I go. would have recommended them on that basis as well. Yeah, you may discard a card in your hand if you do an ally draws a card. Uh, okay, so where... I mean... We'll play this. This is a no-brainer. What am I at? I'm at three. Gain three. I mean... I feel like I'm fine with Seven discarding. Seven is a pretty big break point. Yeah... I'd, I'd be happy with you taking the seven so that you could use something here. Cast any player's prep spell without discarding it. You want to go for that, actually? Maybe it's finally time. I I think you could totally take that and use it to cast my pattern strikes constantly. Yeah, that seems quite good. Uh, oops, I thought it... That's also, to... like, in the wait, middle wait. of the turn that you would be activating the pattern strike. Skip the discard. I think you have to do that. Yeah, I think... Oh, Oh, it's over here. Gotcha. There we are. <laughs> play. I mean, that's pretty exciting. That's super neat. Uh, honestly, I feel like this is proven to be very handy up top, but maybe I go for the... Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's just as good. Yeah, uh, honestly, as long as those two are vaguely near the top, that's great. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Four damage for the Needle Master over here. I'll be taking back one of my own gems. Nothing else from the discard pile for myself, though. Uh, so I have the ability to generate six myself. If I discard a card in hand, I can also give you the ability to draw another card. Currently, you're generating five ether with your current hand, as well as dealing three damage. Um, I think that could be useful for you, and I could easily just discard the spark for it. Yeah, it's probably fine. Though... Oh, well. <laughs> Though five is a very convenient amount of damage right now. For uh considering this. That is true. I can undo that even. Nah, I don't know. I I'm just I wanted to to bring it as a as a point that we could be in a situation where I because I don't think I have I don't have lethal, do I? What are I, what what is my second card over here? No, you've got three. So I've got three, but I don't I don't know. I don't know if it I don't know if it's enough to change the the plan. Go with what you want. Well, I, it's I have mostly no like, you know, my next Zaxos turn could be at the very end, in which it's case, true. like, I'm firing off lethal after they've done the move two more times. Yep. Um, very true. It, it's, oh, I, oh, I have no, no, idea. no, no, no. Oh. It once opened, plus one damage on cast. Damn it. Then, then this would make sense. Uh. Oh, you were gonna. You wanted to focus. Mm hmm. I'm down for whatever. I trust. Okay. I trust. I think I make a slightly risky play here. Do it. Let's go. 
What could go wrong? Not my city. <laughs> nothing. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> I take a bottled vortex. Uh, sorry, two bottled vortexes, uh, apparently. I take one bottled vortex if I can. Can't do. There you go. Right. Yeah, you going. Good. Okay, I got one bottled vortex and I'm taking one extra granite. Yeah? Why not? What could go wrong? Precisely. Oh, it's your turn. Oh, it's me again. <laughs> Immediately. Oh. Well, that's... Let's do four more damage to that. The zeros from the discard pile. Uh, I could get up to a total of five in hand here. Or oh, the, well. the relic is for destroying the cards in my hand. Yes, hand or discard pile, actually. So I oh, want to well, leave garbage ones in the discard pile to yep. burn. Yep, yep, yep. So I'll take these two crystals. Exiting the discard pile. I'll use this relic. And Ooh. immediately destroy this spell oh. as well as this gem. Wow. Okay. So that's six gems in hand. Um... We'll be looking for that eventually. I... I'll get the spell out in play, play all of the gems. Do you have a recommendation here? This is a this is a weird one. Yeah, you know, this is... It's now getting kind of awkward. I mean... Because it feels strange to just put three points into, like, your charge. But at the same time, I mean, it could be nice, but... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We, what do you have for this for destroy now? You you got the one bottle and you procced it already. So this is your deck. But you don't want to not have... You don't want to get rid of too many zeros. Yeah. Because mm. they're nice for patterned. I don't know. You're, you're like not far from just having kind of like an ideal deck. So... It, it kind of feels like it, but I'm also going to need uh, enough resources to be able to pop open these focuses still. Yeah. Um, I mean, and okay. since I'm removing the gems and also that removes the ability to get them back with the pattern strike as much, I think I might need the density of just one more burning opal in this deck. Yeah, that seems, that seems fair. Discard. Discard two discards in hand that costs four or more. I don't see the other part. Scorn. Oh, no. Gravehold suffers three damage or unleash twice. Well, that's... You know... You know, guy... Come on. You mean... Maybe. Okay, what are we at? We're at five. Uh, it's the same I think thing. I take it's, a seven. I, it's the same thing. I think seven is... Seven's worth... Uh, <laughs> I mean, just be the ultimate, ultimate support. I think... Well, I mean, you're casting it, right? When you use that relic, you're casting a copy of the spell that I have prepped. That's, oh, that's true. Cast any players. So, I mean, these are just when you draw them, you can use them as a one-time active effect, right? Or not, mm -hmm. no, this one's one time, not one time. That one just yeah, that destroys, one destroys itself. just destroys itself. That one doesn't. Okay. I mean, it seems nice. It seems really nice. But, like, we run the risk of you not having a pattern strike prepped, I guess, is the thing. Um, sure. I, I could also just... I don't really have... I'm running out of... Z I'm starting to run out of zeros, and I'm going to probably ditch all of them. Though, ooh, wait. Getting this back could be kind of fun. Too, though. Mm-hmm. That's kind of juicy. It is pretty juiced. I, I'm th I'm, I might do it with that in mind. You down? I think that juice is worth that squeeze. Uh, I'm squeezing. Uh, your turn. Zaxos. Squeeze him. Okay. So is that the little... So it doesn't matter. This will still work regardless. 
uh, or killing you. Doesn't matter who it reveals. Oh, but it does reveal first before you decide who you do the damage to. So it's doing three. Oh. I almost wish it only did one. Yeah, I know. That would just make it more convenient. We're hurting, though. Three yeah, or, or unleash. Hurt. That's bad. So when it attacks, does it unleash its fury? Like, is that what's happening? Or how does it decide how much damage it does? With it just like, it's I the, the it boss's standard attack. Give us, I, I think, uh, sorry, which one? There's that card in the deck that just makes the boss just, uh, it says the boss attacks you. How much, and yes, it didn't say how much damage it does. Oh, okay, okay. It's a, okay, it's just a flat man. Okay, never mind. Gotcha, yep. gotcha. Um... So this is difficult, right? Because yeah, exactly. this card wants me to trash cards in hand or discard pile. Uh, which I just don't have bad ones yet. Like, I could get rid of Flare. As well as a gem. Yeah. It doesn't feel great to do, though. Um, I think that just needs to die, unfortunately. Hmm. One cost in my discard. So this... I still think I use the Bottled Vortex because I do need to get rid of it and three other cards in this cycle. It's just so much more efficient than not doing it. But Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just... it's This whole turn is just like... Uh, sometimes it lines up and everything and you're just like, oh man, this was so efficient. And then sometimes this happens. Mm -hmm. What do you got? You got three? However, this is a pretty good turn. Um, let's use this to gain two. Uh, to gain another three. I'm probably going to be picking up an imbued smash here. Uh, wait. Oh, skip the discard. Ooh. And then generate eight damage oh, on board. That's, I mean, that's pretty nice. We finally, we um, charged pretty. up our laser. I'm pretty pleased with that. We can fire that laser at whatever point we'd like. All right, what was this again? Look for the moment, it's time for you to charge up yours. I mean, discard a card in here. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, what we got? Oh, nine, man. If only this showed up a little bit later, we could just, like, burn and take the fury. But I don't know. I feel like, okay, mm. so you've got eight in your hand. Like, should I plink it for I have one? Eight. I think you should definitely plink it for one. And then... Just what? Do the two on on here, just for convenience' sake, inefficiency of damage, or do damage to the boss? Or... That's the tricky thing, because if you have eight, what do you think? You have the ability to cast one of my patents. Oh shoot! I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's nice. But which is a little bit of a problem. What's in your discard pile right now? Fuck. Okay. Because if you want to burn your gem using you know the the spell that you currently have cast, you won't yeah. have two cards to return that are both zero cost. But it, it's up to you what you want to do. You know, optimize the deck or yeah, optimize the turn. Because yeah, it's you may return to. Well, if I burn it, I mean like it's if I play your card, I don't. There's no world where I get the crystal because it doesn't go to my discard pile until after the turn. Yeah. Mm. Oh, unless I burning opal. So you play your, what? Well, no, you play your relic during your turn. So it just immediately activates what I have already prepped. So yeah. you get to choose when you draw two zero cards from your discard pile. So you could play the gem and then the relic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would I would play opal, opal discard. Or, but if I play the gem oh. and the relic, the gem discards at the end of the turn though. Am I wrong? Oh, okay. Yeah, but, you could but, use the opal to do but it. But I could do uh, the opal. The, Yes. But that being said, I don't know if... So... Hmm. It's just whether or not you want to destroy something with the spell that's currently about to cast. I feel like I don't... I feel like I don't need to. I feel like I'll have... Well, oh my god, it's a lot. I have a lot of... I have a lot of zeros left. And I'm about to draw all those. I don't know. It's up to you. I definitely feel like I want to do the two, two damage. I could copy... I mean, it was... It doesn't really matter one way or the other if I copy your four on this or or not. 
necessarily, but yeah, exactly. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's still dying on my next turn. Okay, how much mana do I have? Three, five, six. Is six gonna make a big difference here? Barely at all. Nah. I'm sending it. All right, drag a spell. Okay. You know what? I'm help. I'm helping. Helping. I'm helping. Oh, this is it's convenient. Time to have that rinky dink card there. Uh. And the question is, two mana. Like, what am I? What am I gonna do with five? Do I add an imbued smash? Maybe. Yeah. Probably. We need damage. I think. Like, at this point, uh, I'm looking to target imbued smashes as well as opening the rest of my breaches. And yeah. that seems pretty Cause... reasonable as a pivot. Yeah, because imbued smash helps you cycle to get more imbued smash faster, too, which is nice. Mm hmm Okay. So I could get seven out again. Or I could do the discard in order to draw a card on your side. Uh, um, what do you got? You got three, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or six. I mean, we don't have the ability to do that discard, do we? No. Nine to open. I kind of want to just start working on my breaches a little bit yeah i mean if you you could do seven and just do a double focus but i guess I, to this point i still don't know if you can uh focus the same one twice or not i don't know i don't believe so the contract I can't take this card. Yeah. okay so i'm gonna give you the the draw sick um you can play all the rest of it. I'm going to focus and get a metaphysical link, probably. Unless it allows me to double focus here. It allows it me to double focus here. No mind. Well, I'm just going to go. do the three and three. Well, there you go. There you go. And there you are. Damn it. When damage is dealt to this mini, reduce that damage to one. Barely know uh. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, Any player suffers damage equal to the minion's current life on the persistent effect as well. Ooh, fortunate. So, it, and it needs to be struck three times. Oh. Yes. Ungreat. And another one? Well, well I at mean, least they don't attack on the turn they come out. It's true. And I'm glad I have the uh, the plink here. I feel like this is just mm -hmm. super optimal because I don't want we don't want to use a four bopper on that. Absolutely. Uh, that being said, what, what was this? Player with the lowest life suffers two damage. That doesn't bother me as much right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. That doesn't bother me as much right yeah, now. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me. I can take it. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, any player discards prep spell the customer. I mean, yeah, who cares? I. Uh, what do you think? Just because we we yeah, got a lot absolutely. of big spells, we don't want to be wasting. That's exactly the reason for it. Okay, what do we got? Here. Ooh, wait. And then I could, I could. There's actually a reason to want to draw my spark so that we maybe can. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, that would be the start of the next turn. You would draw. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wait. You may return up to your cards in your hand and you're just caught pile mm -hmm. cost zero. So yeah, we. I could. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Sorry, I'm new to having pattern strikes. This is my first one. It's all good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Would you rather draw a card or draw a card and discard? <laughs> I mean, probably should. Yeah. Would you uh, <laughs> draw a card or draw a card? Yeah, discard? just don't activate the Burning Opal, but activate the Amethyst Shard. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I am going to discard a. Crystal. Goodbye, Crystal. Bye, Crystal. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I could open. Do I need to open? Well, I guess it gives us the plus one damage on cast. Ooh. It does. 
And then at that point, when you have mostly opened breaches and all the spells you want to cast, then it doesn't matter what you have in terms of gems as much. Like the gems just become your ability to charge your uh, skill. And it's Open just the breach. Kill these all with spells. Open the breach. The breach is open. There we go. Oh, my turn. <laughs> Get him. Uh, okay, though, at the same time, we Shamed got... out that discard and the relic, though. <laughs> yeah, not great. Not great there. <laughs> um, oof. <laughs> oh, God, the timing on that is... Ooh, mm. perfectionly uh, wrong. Uh, okay, so four damage, yeah. and this suck. This is a team of uh, like a full thing of uh, oddly unsatisfying. This is r slash oddly unsatisfying, is what this turn is. Mm -hmm. Like four At damage, moment, but it only does I will one. Say, there's there's a world where if you go next, or if the enemy goes next, and then you go afterwards. Uh, if that four damage hits the nine health enemy, your spectral echo as well as your other spell kills the two remaining minions next turn with very little wasted damage. Oh no, the imbued smash will, uh, wait, no, the imbued smash will because it'll do an extra damage because it'll be in the, the plus damage breach. Oh, you're right. Okay, uh, so you think you think go for the nine? I think so, yeah. Also, the, the minion that is surviving on one right now only does damage amount equal to its health, which is one. Yeah, that's not that big of a deal. I wonder if the, does, do both effects get plus one? I wonder. You'd think, right? I'd hope. Plus one damage on cast. Uh, may mm -hmm. Maybe? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, there, look at the uh, parenthetical text in there. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at that. Reading. Who knew? Effects that modify effect uh, will modify all. Wait. Any, play oh, you're any player. I'm any player. I'm any player. <laughs> what? That's so good. You're a I'm a player. Okay. Ah, uh, we all knew it. Okay, so I feel like <laughs> that's worth doing. Hell yes! So, can I... You just got a card, you do three damage to the enemy. Can I... Okay. It's so good. Neat, I like that. Uh, it's pretty good, I guess. No, this is actually a bad turn because I have nothing to do with this one Aether. <laughs> uh, GG Marie. Undo. <laughs> uh, oh. Uninstall, uninstall. Ah, oh, it's time for games. Okay. Well, now I kind of want to get a bunch of those relics in my deck. They're re I mean, it's really sick. good. Yeah, no gems, only those relics and the spells. It's just like punch everything all the time forever. Get the discard. Pop that in, and then I will explode this to get three. Do it, do it. Get my temporal helix. We're doing it. We're doing it. It was like it was a good. It was a pretty good card already. That uh, was indeed. Send me. There you go, Adeline. I'm, I'm going to co-op control to take damage. Uh, to discard, lose four charge. We don't have that. Or uh, okay. I missed what it was. Gang. You're turning in. Oh boy. Uh it's a 50-50 on who goes next. Unfortunately. It is indeed. It's still one damage that we risk. I yeah. think we need to throw. Yeah. We can't away. waste we can't waste damage right now. One damage is one. And it, and it's one damage to a player. Like I don't really care actually. I think mm -hmm. I think we use our health as a resource here. Ooh. This is starting to look doable. This mm -hmm. is very much starting to look doable. I'm feeling I, kinda confident almost. I really like the flow of this, of how there's such a very like there's such a clearly strict uh energy build up phase into pop off phase. Mm-hmm. I really like that. That feels good. It's, it's one of the things I really like. Uh, actually, this is also something that Teak has mentioned as like one of the things that he likes most about Dominion is the recognition of when you turn and burn, which is when you go, this is the resource that I'm using to gain power. Now I need to use it to exercise power. <laughs> I need to yeah. remove that resource so that I can just use the exercising power ones. 
Ooh, this is a oh, little... sorry, that's me. Oh, that's okay. This is a little interesting. Hmm. Do I like? Do I burn the spark when I could just? I could. I guess. I, could, I mean, one damage. Eh, who cares? He's going next. Four damage. You may discard a card. Are these the ones that I can destroy? Nope. Ah, uh, this my hand is kind of okay. This is kind of weird. Having a lot too many burning opals is a little strange. Mm. Right. Remember that the, you can just play them for three and not. It's do true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Just trying to ooh, trying to think what we got here. Again, like, do I care? But again, how I much? Think, I think two the damage. Two is, damage should probably go that way. I think two damage is worth it. And the question is, if I should burn my spark or not? I can't burn anything in here. Can I, I just make sure? Hmm. I, it's, I pro would. it's probably fine. I wish I could burn a zero gem, but I'll just take it right now. Also, what is this? I didn't I didn't get a read in time. Four, lose four charges. Oh, unleash four times. Well, I mean, that could theoretically be bad, but... It could indeed. So this would do an extra three. Oh. What do you think? Three damage at the cost of two mana? I'm fine with it. Uh, so what are you planning on doing this turn ultimately? Uh, well, I guess that's a good point. I mean, that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like we are pretty much just set to run and gun. But I feel like we're gonna die the second we do that because we're gonna get four fury. It's gonna go up to seven. It's gonna be like you take seven damage every time you blink. But uh, that's the thing that I was about to slightly propose, which is a bit of a cheeky uh, suggestion. But if you gained four charges this turn you could discard the power which would be discarding oh. the spell and then all gems in order to get the charges discarding oh wow discard spectral echo and then go all all in here is it that what be. you're saying mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's it's a little it's a team play it's a team play right there you are definitely taking it for the team so okay, so what what do you walk me through this here? I want to make sure I don't okay, tank it. So the 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 power that the enemy has on board, they're going to activate in two turns time. Yes. Uh, but we have the ability to discard it by losing yes. four charges. It would cost eight in order to get four charges. You have the ability to generate eight ether in hand if you do no discards. Yeah. Okay. But the question is, can I can I proc this now? Like I know it says when it's drawn, but before it's resolved. I would imagine it's still so that, allowed. So that's not relevant. Okay. You're, it's not what your ability is doing. You oh, literally it's... just spend four charges to discard Bloodcry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could do it as well with my ability. But okay. I, oh. I don't. I'm not on play. Oh, sorry. My mouse is janking. So you think you think gain four charges, but I, you know I need five to play it, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I, I do. You don't... So the power only needs you to discard four. Its cost is it's not this power. Their one. Yes. That's your your skill. Oh, oh my, god. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I I understand. I thought you were saying to use my pack. I understand okay. now. Whoop. I, it, it's it's part of the nomenclature of using the word power for both a card and yes. the innate ability of a wizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna have up there and see that. Oh. Discard, spend seven, unleash any player suffers one damage. That player suffers one additional damage for each fury. Oh, no. Well, that's not great. We might have to. Not at all. Hmm. Okay. So if I do that. I mean, we're almost at the break even for, for HP levels here. We are. We're, we're almost... I think we're on, on pace to be able to turn and burn them quite effectively. I don't know if we're going to need to resolve this I, unless Fury increases again. Yeah. And even... we. I think we might be... No, they get two turns. This turn. That's right. Oof. And I will cast my own prepared Wait, spell. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wonder, is it... Is there a world where it's worth it to... What are you going to do on your turn? Is there a world where it's worth it to open up one of these... No, it's only on open. Never mind. Never yes. mind. Just kidding. I forgot. I, you asked that earlier. Same thing. Same trick. No, it's, it's all good. I had that exact same internal yeah. consideration at the start of the yeah. turn. Yeah. <laughs> Not like, on focus, yeah. only on open. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, 
I mean, I I would just end up being uh, end up focusing this again. So I think I might use this to give you another card in your next turn. I mean, just got sure. a card in my hand and give you the draw. I'm sure. And then I think the best thing I can do is is focus this so I have the ability to cast with plus one damage yeah. later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially yeah, with the since it applies to the double, I think it's extra worth it. Oh, it's oh, it's just again. it's you again. <laughs> oh my god, and you get to do the double cast. Wait a minute, do, do, wait, wait. Do you I think they're dead. I think, I think they did it. I think they <laughs> lose. The oh my god. What? Right? I'm yeah. Almost Am I missing something? I think that. We did it! That screen is. We did it. That pop up is bad. <laughs> it's really. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Game over victory. The nemesis has Game no life. Over. <laughs> Game over victory. The nemesis has zero life. Let's go. Look at us. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Oh, I know what I'm using for the thumbnail. Yeah, that's there you go. <laughs> Congratulations, you have destroyed Rageborn. Gravehold still stands for now. That's very cool. That's it's quite fun. Uh it was a hell of a time. Yeah, and there's like there's a bunch of different dang old bosses, a bunch of different dang old characters. Very neat. On top of the fact that like I guess you could you could literally manually select what spells and everything mm -hmm. you want, which is kinda nuts too. On top of the fact that there's like 80 DLCs for this that have come out. Very neat. Uh, but yeah. yeah. Incredibly fun. I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. I, thank you for joining me on, on ANZ here. But I guess, you know what? I guess you want? introed. I guess you, <laughs> wait, who introed? I introed. I, it's been you a, introed. It's been an hour, an hour and 11. I don't remember. This has been Aeon's, Aeon's End. It's a very good time. You can pick it up with the link in the top description. There'll be links to the other channel. You know what? It's It's been a moment. Though you wanna you wanna say what channels they can find yet or what what channel they can find yet your perspective I guess it's the same for this one but hey if there's other stuff who knows sure they can indeed uh, slash Rhapsody plays on all the websites you might look so it's your Twitch Twitter and YouTube uh, mostly doing Elden Ring at the moment with uh, offsets of the uh, Raps and Teak Take a Peek every other week on either mine or Sneaky Teak's channel. Uh, as well as just occasional spotlight videos on individual things and you know getting back to a more reasonable pace but I don't know I'm, I'm kind of enjoy enjoying just taking a beta series and going like this this is for me I yeah. I love this and Elden Ring is very much that for me it's it's a lot of telling personal stories and anecdotes and an enjoyable time what are you doing over at yours at the moment as well by the way just in case anyone oh uh, is not necessarily immediately familiar or recently I like. I literally have to tab out to, ch to check. What am I doing? Oh, oh, well, look at that. That's nice. Uh, what am I doing? I am playing Ravita. Oh, I'm playing Ravita in Rogue Legacy too. I I do Rogue Legacy. I play new indies every day. But dang, there's too many good ones that I want to do series on. So I don't have like a new one each day right now per se. But that'll come right back, very very quickly. Uh, but yeah. I love that doing Ravita and Rogue Legacy 2, like that could be like mid last year or it could be May this year. I know, it's like everything at just all the 1.0s, they're like, hey, you want them at the same time? I know you, I know you made a promise to everybody that you were going to do a full series on all of these games, but they're out right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, go ahead, have fun. But I can't complain, they're, they're, they're very good time, they're very good time. But yeah. I had, a, I had a blast with this today. Thank you. For, I mean, I already said thank you, but thank you again for joining me. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you again, again. Yeah, thank you again, again. You're welcome again, again. Thank you again, again. This has uh, been Aeon's End End. <laughs> and this is the uh, Aeon's End <laughs> of the video here. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye. Aeon Dios.